Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. Everything in the universe is made up of atoms. Atoms are 99.9999999% empty space. So that means you humans, the walls you want to walk through, and everything around you is mostly empty space. It's mind-boggling. But if that's true, why can't we pass through that empty space? Atoms are made of electrons, and a nucleus containing protons and neutrons. We usually see atoms drawn like this, but these sketches are nowhere near to scale. Let's say an atom is the size of a melon. If that's the case, then the nucleus and the electrons would be too small to even see. So yeah, there's a lot of empty space, but it's not entirely empty. In those basic sketches of atoms, it's usually illustrated that electrons orbit around the nucleus, just like our planet orbits the sun. But in actuality, electrons swarm around that empty space in cloud formations. Think about it like a fan. It may seem like there's lots of empty space, but when it's turned on, you can see that the blades are basically everywhere all at once. Now, theoretically, if you tried to stick your hand into that fan, you'd see that your hand and the fan blades can't exist in the same place at once. No, Triangle Bob, don't, I said, I said theoretically. Anyway, two things cannot exist in the same place at once, and the same goes for electrons. This theory is called the Pauli exclusion principle. No two electrons can be in the same state or configuration. On a basic level, this is why you can't walk through walls. So you can't pass through an object. But did you know that you actually can't even touch them either? If you did stick your hand in that fan, you'd probably feel the blades hitting your hand but you wouldn't actually be feeling the blades. You've never truly felt any object ever. Yes, I know this sounds pretty wacky, but bear with us. You know how the negative end of a magnet repels other negative magnets? That's what's happening when you try to touch anything. It's like there's a little invisible force field between you and everything you touch. It's poked and prodded, but never broken. It's the same with everything else in the universe too. Now, you obviously can't, but if you were to actually walk through a wall, it would basically break science. Electrons are fermions and have to obey the Pauli exclusion principle, but bosons, another type of subatomic particle, don't. And if fermions started acting like bosons, the universe would be a very weird place. My head hurts just thinking about it. But we aren't completely hopeless there's still quantum tunneling, which is where a very tiny particle can make its way across a barrier even though according to classical mechanics, it doesn't have the energy to do so. And this isn't just some wacky idea. Tunneling is used in scanning tunneling microscopes. Basically, electrons have a small probability of tunneling between the surface of the solid and a tiny tip on the microscope. If you wanted to use this phenomenon to walk through walls, you'd need every single particle in your body to tunnel through the barrier. And sadly, the probability of that happening is very, very small. Thanks to my animator though, I can pass through whatever I like. See? Although it does kind of make me feel funny right after. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much to Honey for sponsoring this video. Honey is a free browser extension that over 9 million people are using every day to save money while they shop online. Installing Honey is super simple. It only takes two clicks. Just go to joinhoney.com slash lifenoggin to get started. Once that's finished, anytime you head to check out at an online store, Honey will automatically apply the best coupon code it can find to give you the biggest discount. I saved $4 on this magical unicorn cookie basket from Cookies by Design. It's called treating yourself, and I will not be ashamed. There really isn't any reason not to add Honey to your browser. It's free, takes just two clicks to install, and will save you money. And if you want to support our channel, go to joinhoney.com slash lifenoggin, or click the link in the description below. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Lifenoggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.